Welcome to Enchanted Tarot. This is for the sign of Libra. Um, and these are your, uh, your messages from the angels. Now, there's no timing for this reading. You uh, will hear these messages when you need to, when you are meant to. So if you were drawn to this video, then there is most likely a message here for you to hear. I've laid out five messages here before me. Um, either one or more of these may resonate with you or may offer you um, guidance, direction, um, or some important information that you need to hear for your journey. So let us begin at the heart of this reading and we have the card of release. You have um, experienced an awakening and after going through the awakening experience it is not uncommon to uh, to find things or people in your life that need to go. There is a desire for new beginnings and therefore a need for endings. There are, of course, many types of endings, those that seem to just kind of happen to you and those that you initiate yourself. Some endings are a breath of fresh air, while others can bring you great sorrow. Sometimes they do both. There are specific endings where you can just get up, dust yourself off and move on. But with this card of release, you must experience the ending whether happy or sad okay so you have to move through this finale slowly perhaps with the help of friends family or your spiritual practice there's much to learn and much growth to be had and you will not want to lose those opportunities. Whatever the situation, remember that the divine adores you and that it is in both new beginnings and inevitable endings that you are led closer to joy in your life, if you have faith, that is. It is a card of facing your fears of moving forward, of transformation. The next message is the Hermit. And so this is a card of going within, withdrawing. It is contemplation, time alone with your thoughts. Um, it could be seeking wisdom, um, enlightenment. Okay, so this came before this card because you're seeking it or you have been and you're receiving it here. So maybe this awakening has not yet happened but is soon to happen or you're in this energy currently. It's like, um, or maybe you have had this and maybe you are uh, in that state of needing more wisdom, seeking direction. Um, what is it that needs to go here now? Um, what no longer serves me? Um, what is the next step? Where do I go from here? Maybe, maybe you've hit a brick wall 
or a crossroads and you just don't know how to proceed. This card suggests time alone and need to quiet the mind and listen for the answers will come. The next card is the Nine of Water. So um, this is a very nice card to receive. This is what you've been waiting for. This is the card of wishes come true. Your prayers to Source and your angels have been heard and now the magic begins. So uh, allow yourself to feel complete joy. Let your heart be filled with childlike wonder and awe. Invoke the law of attraction by picturing in your mind what you wish to manifest and then releasing the wish to the universe. Do not focus on how your dream is going to come true. That is up to source. Just have faith that your hopes will now be, <clears throat> excuse me, realized. The Seven of Cups. So, or Seven of Water, you know, uh, this is a, um, indicating that there's a challenging decision that you need to make. This is why you would be here in the hermit. And the problem is you're procrastinating. You're not making this decision is what the, this card is telling me. It's what they're saying. And um, this sense of paralysis keeps you from moving forward and only intensifies um, the overwhelm of emotions that you're feeling. So they are advising, if you need to do further research, then do it. But do it now. Do not put it off. The time has come to choose so that you can proceed on your journey. You know, sometimes uh, they say that daydreaming about a situation can offer insight, but it's not helpful, helpful if you don't eventually take action on it. Ask your angels for guidance. Yeah, there's a need here to regain your focus. The final message today is loved one in heaven. So the angels are bringing through a loved one who is in heaven at this time. They want you to know that their energy and support are always with you. Your loved one in heaven is drawing extremely close to you and wants to help heal any remaining pain or feeling of separation um, that is within your heart at this time. Take time to acknowledge and remember them for this will allow you to feel their love. The energy of a loved one wants to help you move forward in a very loving and safe way. Also, if there's someone on the other side whom you miss or have unfinished business with, this is your opportunity to make peace with them. Please know that they are offering their love to help remove anything that is holding you back. And 
are asking you not to feel guilty about anything at all. They want you to know that they have found eternal peace in heaven with the family who have gone on before them. So for someone who may have been holding on to guilt, it is time to release this so that you can now move forward. And your loved one is here to help you do that. Wishes are coming true. Dreams at this time can become reality. Have faith in the universe that all will be well, and so it shall. Many blessings. <laughs>